Welcome friends. In this Dash Studio tutorial, we want to show you how to optimize your iRay render um, so that you don't spend as much time rendering and have more time to do other, th other things. So um, all these are not my own ideas. I got this from think people like Solomon Jagway on YouTube and um, a couple of other videos, but I've gotten several questions on how to get quick renders, especially when I did a video on like uh, the one where I did the face motion um, demonstration, which was over 9,000 frames, I believe. So, you know, we have a doing animation, it's going to be a lot of frames that you're going to have, so you can't spend all day rendering just one frame. So, getting right to it, um, what you want to do is make sure you're in your render settings and under the rendering settings tab, you're in. Definitely want to make sure this is NVIDIA IRA and not uh, 3D Light, 3D, 3D Light. And the main settings you want to go to is you can choose with your dimensions. And let's go to the progressive render. And you want to set your max samples to a lower setting. Sometimes you can get away with something as low as 50, but um, I usually find something like 200 <clears throat> will be sufficient. Um, you can also mess with the max time. So what max time does, this is how much time is willing to spend on a single frame. You can lower this to a lower value, but um, you're not going to be quite as sure as how much quality you're going to get out of each frame. So I mess, most of the time I just mess with max samples. So set it somewhere between like you know 50 and to 200 that should get you what you need under optimization sometimes I change caustic sampler to on and off um, let's just go ahead and turn this off filtering is very important so you want to have the po post denoiser available set to on and I think this is only available after a certain version of Dash Studio I think after 4.12 or something like that. I'm on 4.15, so it's been available for a while. So turn that on and also make sure that post the noise or enable is also turned on. You can mess with the iterations and so forth, but I usually leave them at the um, default. Uh, I usually leave this off. I mean, it's just going to denoise the alpha. I don't think there's any reason to do that for most settings, for most scenes. And the other thing you want to make, maybe look at is, depending on your scene, is the draw dome. So I'm just going to turn the viewport to IRA for a moment. Basically what that does is turn off. So right now I have this environment map set up. And it's all blurred out. But uh, when you try turn off draw dome, this makes that basically the alpha channel um and you, but you still get the lighting off of that environment map so if you don't really need it or you can go back and composite that environment map later you don't really need to render it um, that just wastes time so just turn it off and composite it later on something like blender or photoshop or gimp or something like, like that so those are the main settings you need to worry about a um, couple of things like draw ground. So basically, see if I can zoom out here. That basically is if you're going to draw a shadow on the ground, do you want to spend time rendering that or not? So if I turn it off, oh, that was the wrong setting. Sorry. Draw grounds right here. If I turn it off, the shadow disappears. So different things like that you can optimize. And there's several of the settings. Uh, so quick. Comparison. So on the left here is where I left everything as, as the default, and on the right is where we see you don't have a, a environment map. Is where I optimize everything to pretty much what you see me do during the earlier part of the video. On the right, this took thirty seconds to render on a RTX twenty eighty. This took four and a half minutes, four minutes and 30 seconds to render all this. I could have went back and rendered the background in another 30 seconds and then went to another program and um, composited the two together. 
And if I have, you know, that takes another maybe a couple minutes. But if you have many, um, many images like the animation, you only need that background once. So it's a great savings there for, for optimizing your IRA settings. So hopefully this has been helpful, and um, this will make you consider maybe doing your animations directly in Blender more often. Um, with that, thanks and have a blessed day.